You never know where an emergency vehicle is headed. Heart attacks, strokes, shortness of breath. Working fires, biohazard contamination, search and rescue. Robberies in progress, shootings, car accidents. Oftentimes, drivers are unsure what to do as emergency vehicles approach. When you see and hear sirens and lights, safely pull over to the right and stop. By doing so, this will allow emergency vehicles to safely pass and continue to their emergency. Driver safety is a responsibility for everyone. Not following the driver safety law for emergency vehicles puts everyone at risk. From emergency personnel, civilian drivers, and people who are waiting help. Not only is driver safety the safe thing to do, it's the law. This can carry points on your license and a fine. So let's be safe. Remember, sirens and lights move to the right. Good afternoon. I'm Firefighter Michael Norman. I'm the Public Information Officer for the Cleveland Division of Fire. It's my honor and privilege to welcome you to the beautiful Cleveland City Council Chambers and, the, and call the Division of Fire Awards Ceremony to order. Our first speaker is no stranger to public service. Frank Jackson was first elected to City Council in 1989. He served as Council President starting in 2001. And in 2005, he was elected as the 57th mayor of the city of Cleveland. He's currently running to be the first four-term mayor of the city of Cleveland. Please welcome Frank Jackson. Good afternoon. And uh, I want to, again, welcome everyone to the rotunda, not the rotunda, but the council chambers and congratulate all of those who will be recognized today, uh, both the firefighters and the civilians. And, and most of all, I want to thank you for your service, your willingness to serve. Now, I often say that uh, public service is an honorable profession, but it's not made for everybody. Everyone can't do it. But those who do it and do it well have the greatest opportunity to impact the lives of individuals families, and communities. And that's what you've done by your demonstration of heroism and, and what you've done in the scenarios that will be read to the public today. So again, uh, welcome uh, and congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Jackson. Our next speaker sits in this chair most Monday nights. Kevin Kelly was first elected to City Council in 2005, and he served as City Council President since 2013. Please welcome Kevin J. Kelly, City of Cleveland Council President. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, my name is Kevin Kelly. I'm the President of Cleveland City Council, and on behalf of my 16 colleagues, I would like to congratulate you for, for being here today. But in addition, I want to just take a minute to thank you because we don't take enough opportunity, really, when we, we, we have award ceremonies and you're, you're here for, for a reason because of the great service you've provided. But when you think about the Division of Fire and the work that you do and the citizens that you keep safe on a daily basis, um, never, I, never forget how much it is appreciated. Never let it become just a job because the work that you do is so much appreciated by the citizens of our city, by your council, by your mayor, and um, I don't know if we take enough time to say thank you, and I don't know if we have enough ceremonies to really recognize the, the, the hard work that you do. So, so on behalf of myself and council, I, I do want to thank you, and as the mayor said, public service is a tremendous calling, and you really do a tremendous amount of good for people. We've all been called to public service, but you know the difference between you know where you sit and I sit is that my wife never wonders whether I'm coming home at night, and the sacrifice that you made is appreciated. So thank you. Thank you, Council President Kelly. Our next speaker uh, holds a council seat once held by each of his parents. Uh, Matthew Zone was first elected to City Council in 2001. 
please welcome Matthew Zone, City of Cleveland Safety Committee Chairman. Thank you, uh, PIO Norman, uh, Mayor, Council President Kelly, Chief, Director uh, McGrath, distinguished uh, guests and friends who are in the room. Um, I hold it as a high honor and privilege to serve the public, and um, I'm thankful every day that I get to chair our City Safety Committee. Um, each and one of you have um, exhibited extraordinary acts uh, that you're going to all be recognized. And so before I make a few remarks about that, I do want to acknowledge and recognize some of our colleagues who are here in the room. Uh, a good friend of Cleveland Fire, you got Councilman Martin Kane in the back of the room. Marty, thank you for joining us, Councilman Kane. Councilman Terrell Pruitt was just here. He walked in and, and walked out, but he might be floating in here soon. I don't know. Councilman Reed, thank you for joining us as well. Um, you know, we uh, on City Council want to work with the administration, give you the necessary resources so you can do your job better. We're really excited about working towards accreditation for the Fire Training Academy, something that I've been working with uh, the City Administration and Council President and, and the Safety Director towards. Um, but all of that needs leaders, and leaders lead, and each of you are a leader in your own right. That's why you're being honored and recognized today. Um, so I want to thank you for what you do, and Godspeed to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Zone. Our next speaker was Chief of Police for the City of Cleveland from 2005 until he became the Director of Public Safety in 2014. Most notably, he is the brother of retired Cleveland firefighter Seamus McGrath, the pride of Truck 4. Please welcome Michael McGrath, Director of Public Safety for the City of Cleveland. Good afternoon. I don't know if that introductory remarks is good in my favor or not. <laughs> For those of you who knew my brother, <laughs> it's a challenge, but uh, it's a great way to end the week, great way to start the weekend. And uh, as you all know, each and every day, firefighters go to work and risk their lives for the betterment of our communities. That is why it's only fitting that we take time today to honor and recognize some of those fighter fighters for their services. It is also a time we can acknowledge the family members and friends of the honorees and tell them how much we appreciate the efforts your loved ones provide throughout the year. You know, being a police officer for 44 years and uh, having you provide assistance to me when I was on the street, this is really an honor for me to stand in front of you today and, and be afforded the opportunity to make a few comments. And I'd like to extend to each and every one of you my sincere congratulations and gratitude for receiving these awards this afternoon. And I'd like to join with your co-workers, I can see some in the audience here today, your friends, family members, and telling you how proud we are of the service you provide to our community in good times and especially in these times of challenge. Please know that we all appreciate your work greatly. While we share these shining moments and these milestones this afternoon with you and your families, I know that you share these similar heartening moments with your brothers and sisters in the fire service every day, especially at mealtime. <laughs> a lot of chatter goes on then. I know I've been to a few meals over the years. But I want you to know that I respect the difficult work that you do. I pray for your continued safety. I value your dedication and your professionalism, and I applaud your accomplishments. This afternoon provides an opportunity to reflect on life's priorities and the difference you make in the lives of each person in this community on behalf of all those lives for whom you have made a difference. I salute and thank each of every one of you and please be safe. Thank you. Thank you, Director McGrath. Our next speaker is a 28-year veteran of the Cleveland Fire Department who just completed his second year as Chief of the Division of Fire. He's Cleveland's first Hispanic Fire Chief. Please welcome Chief Angelo Cavillo, Chief of the Cleveland Division of Fire.
Good afternoon, all, and this is a glorious afternoon. I'm so proud of you for being here and families for your support. First of all, I'd like to thank the Honorable Mayor Frank G. Jackson for all your support for our Division of Fire. Uh, Safety Director Michael McGrath, thank you for all you do. Council President Kelly, Councilman, thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. Councilman Zone, Councilman Keene, Councilman Reed. As a team together with the Mayor, Council, and all of us working together to provide the best that we can for the City of Cleveland and the community, I just thank you. And I'm so fortunate and honored to be here. Good afternoon, I'm Fire Chief Angelo Cavillo, and I proudly lead the Cleveland Division of Fire, one of the best fire departments in the country. Every day our members are on the front line, responding to all hazards and emergencies, from medical first responders to motor vehicle accidents, technical rescues, and of course, fires. Cleveland firefighters are ready to respond right now and every hour of every day of the year. But not all days are the same. Some days bring calls that test our teamwork and training, our capabilities and courage. Our members make a difference every day. Some days it's the difference between life and death. Today's awards reflects the diverse and dedicated service the Cleveland Division of Fire provides to the community. We will hear stories of decisive and coordinated action on the fire ground. Thoughtful actions from a tragedy and a dedication to detail by members and staff position that ensures the Division of Fire is accountable and effective. We will also recognize a few civilians from a man who supplies cars for the Cleveland firefighters to practice dismantling and burning to a couple of wonderful, brave neighbors who made a difference. I want to thank everyone for attending today's ceremony. To the recipients, these awards are well earned. You are examples of what makes the Cleveland Division of Fire so great. Thank you, and may God bless you and protect you and your families. Thank you, Chief Cavillo. Would Firefighter Vio Giammarco and Firefighter Jose Avilas please stand? This first award is given to Firefighter Vio Giammarco and Firefighter Jose Avilas. On December 30, 2016, Ladder 30 responded to a house fire at 735 East 92nd Street. Upon arrival, there was a large amount of fire venting from the rear of the structure and heavy smoke billowing from the two and a half story framed house. Concerned neighbors were on the front porch trying to alert the resident and gain access through a steel security door. As firefighters arrived, they were informed about the trapped resident named Harriet and her approximate location. The engine crew stretched a hose line to begin attacking the fire. Due to increasing fire conditions and a deterior deteriorating environment, firefighters Giammarco and Avilas did not waste time with the metal security door and instead broke out the front windows to enter the structure and search for the resident. With very limited visibility and smoke banking down to the floor, firefighter Giammarco was successful in locating the victim where she had collapsed in the living room. With firefighter Avila's assistance, they were able to pass the victim out the window to other rescuers as flames stretched overhead. Within seconds of escaping the structure, a flashover occurred, and the fire crew, with Harriet securely in hand, was forced to flee the front porch. When seconds mattered most, citizens reached out to help their neighbor and informed responding firefighters of Harriet's location. Firefighters worked in a planned and coordinated effort and heroically entered the infer ensuing inferno within Harriet's home and rescued her from a horrible fate. Firefighter Giammarco and Firefighter Aviles, through their actions, showed a high degree of professionalism and valor in putting their own lives at risk to help a civilian. For their life-saving actions, Firefighter Vito Giammarco and Firefighter Jose Aviles are awarded the Medal of Valor. Congratulations.
Thank you. Would firefighters Terrence Bruning and Richard Vaca please stand? Richard Vaca was unable to attend today, but we have firefighter Terrence Bruning. The second award is given to firefighter Terrence Bruning and firefighter Richard Vaca. On January 26, 2016, engine and ladder 11 responded to a call of possible smoke in a basement. Upon arrival of the companies, light smoke appeared from the front of the four suite apartment structure. Upon investigation of the rear of the building, heavy turbulent smoke conditions were encountered on both floors. Hose lines, ventilation, and a primary search were ordered by incident command. Firefighter Bruning located an, un an unconscious resident in a bedroom and with assistance from firefighter Richard Vaca extricated the victim. Patient care was initiated and transport to the hospital provided. A quick knockdown and attack of the main body of fire combined with planned coordinated ventilation helped improve search and survivability conditions. All these actions contributed to a positive outcome and gave the resident the best chance of survival. For being aggressive, steadfast, and resolute in effecting a rescue, firefighter Terrence Bruning and firefighter Richard Vaca are awarded meritorious service commendations. Congratulations. Would the representatives of Engine 41 and its members please stand? On June 28, 2016, Engine 41 responded on a box alarm for a reported house fire. Upon arrival, Engine 41 found heavy smoke showing from the second floor of a two and a half story house with reports of two occupants trapped. Engine 41 advanced a hose line to the second floor to attack the fire. Upon entry into the involved bedroom, a search was initiated and one victim was found lying on the floor. The victim was removed from the engulfing fire and passed on to other responders who rendered aid. Simultaneously, another crew member of Engine 41 laddered the second floor and located a second victim. Additional companies assisted in extricating this victim from the structure. Had it not been for the quick and efficient teamwork displayed by fire personnel, it is likely that the two victims would not have survived their ordeal. For their effort in operating on the scene alone as the first in company, and for their professional actions in mitigating a dangerous scene that could have led to a less positive outcome, the members of Engine 41 are presented the Meritorious Service Award. These members are Captain Al DeWaley, Firefighter Charles Harris, Firefighter James Papke, and fourth grade firefighter Stephen Weir. Congratulations. Thank you. Not all of our duties, our fire duties and responsibilities are exciting and life-threatening as the stories expressed so far. 
There are many behind the scenes aspects regarding the fire department that go unnoticed and unappreciated. With a large department such as ours, the tasks can be considerable when it involves records and data management. With that in mind, the next two individuals faced a tremendous task and accomplished it. Will Captain Patrick Corrigan and Firefighter Barry Kaifus please stand? The Fire Training Academy and the EMT office were subjected to unprecedented scrutiny and auditing of our members' records. For a number of years, the EMT office had been short-staffed and challenged with an aged and inefficient record-keeping system. Despite these challenges, Captain Corrigan and Firefighter Kaifus led an effort to bring the accountability and management of the records-keeping system to a higher level. Investigators were sent by the state of Ohio to review the records. The state investigators found the record system to be in excellent shape and encouraged the city of Cleveland to accredit the FTA and become a standalone facility. Due to the diligence, determination, and dedication of Captain Patrick Corgan and Firefighter Barry Kaifus, they are both presented with awards for distinguished service. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Will Captain Brendan McNamara please stand? While operating as the officer in charge of Engine 23, Captain McNamara responded to an incident where a male of Bhutanese ethnicity self immolated himself in front of his family. Understanding the family was experiencing a very traumatic event and spoke very little English, he sought out additional assistance. With the help of an interpreter in the Asian community, he was able to establish a line of communication to assist the family in moving forward from this tragic event. Captain McNamara returned the next day to install smoke detectors to provide proper protection for the remaining family members. Captain McNamara's actions are a wonderful example of our members, our members can make it in the lives of our citizens when they get involved in a holistic view of an event. We present Captain McNamara with the Distinguished Service Award for his actions. Congratulations. Anthony Davis and Rashawn Arrington, please stand. I'm told Anthony Davis was unable, Chavez was unable to make it, but Rashawn Arrington is here. These two individuals represent the goodness, caring, and compassion that are prevalent in Cleveland neighborhoods. On December 30, 2016, they attempted to gain entry into a burning house and rescue their neighbor. Although their efforts were thwarted by a steel security door, the information they relayed to firefighters was essential. They told firefighters their neighbor was inside the burning structure and her approximate location. When seconds mattered most, the rescuers were able to locate the victim and remove her from that deadly situation. 
for placing themselves in danger while attempting to free their neighbor from her burning home and for providing firefighters with invaluable information on her whereabouts, we honor these men with citizen awards. Congratulations. Thanks. Please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the awards presentations. Would you please rise for the benediction presented by Father Russell Lowe, the Cleveland Division of Fire Chaplain. Almighty God, as we bring to a close this recognition service for these individuals, we ask that you not only watch over them and all of us gathered here, and to we give you thanks once again for their individual acts of service to others. We also ask you to watch over all of our local, state, and national safety forces. May their dedication to preserving life and property give witness to you and an example to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This concludes our ceremony. I want to thank the speakers. I want to congratulate the award winners. I want to thank the family members whose love and support makes a difference as these men perform their duties. And I want to wish you all a safe and happy Friday the 13th. Thank you. <laughs>